Good morning everyone. Today we are going to study about chapter number 2 of class 7 science nutrition in animals. So in the chapter 1 we have learned about the various uh, plants and animals as well as the processes like photosynthesis how plants make their own food and now in this chapter we are going to study about how animals take up nutrition requirement or takes up their nutrition and what are the modes of taking up that nutrition and utilization in the body. So animal nutrition includes nutri nutrient requirement made mode of intake of food and its utilization in the body. Means kis tanha ka nutrient chahiye body mein, kis process ke liye chahiye and usse hum kaise lete hain, kahan se lete hain, right? So there are uh, many nutrients that our body uh, requires and you have to write any six out here as you have already studied in class 6. I will give you an example carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, minerals, proteins, such kind. Right. So the components of food such as carbohydrates are complex substances. These complex substances cannot utilize as such. So they have to break down. So we, our body doesn't mean can uh, digest anything. Carbohydrates are carbohydrates for normal form may digest. Kar legi. No, not possible. We have to split that complex substances into simpler ones. And then our body uses those simpler substances for further nutritional requirements. So food into simpler substances called digestion. And this process of breaking down of food into simpler substances is known as digestion. That's the most important definition out here. So different ways of taking food. The mode of taking food into the body varies in different organisms. Bees and hummingbirds suck the nectar of the plants in friends of humans and many other animals feed on mother's milk. So you can uh, see how different different animals are taking up their uh, food or nutrition requirements from uh, various sources like hummingbirds they are sucking nectar of plants and humans uh, and some other animals depends upon the mother's feed that uh, is mother's milk and snakes like python swallow the animals they prey on or snake kya karta hai? directly swallow kar leta hai, kha jata hai. like uh, rats go some aquatic animals filter tiny food particles floating nearby and feed on them Ab aquatic animals kya karte hai? Uh, wo filter karte hai, kuch food particles ko dissolved in water aur usse inhale karte hai, intake karte hai, aur usse uh, we depend on for their nutritional requirements. Now, activity 2.1. In this activity, what you have to do, what is the type of food and mode of feeding of various animals. These are the names of the animals, kind of food they eat and mode of feeding. This thing you have to search in uh, internet. You can uh, take the use of internet and uh, you have to fill this table. Uh, at your home and you can uh, just comment in the comment section in our uh, uh, below our video so uh, I will reply to you whether it's correct or not so amazing fact star feeds on uh, starfish feeds on animals covered by hard shells of calcium carbonate how now it's hard so how they can able to digest after opening the shell the starfish pops out its stomach through which its mouth to eat the soft animal inside the shell. So what does it do? Uh, like you might have seen uh, snails. Uh, snails are having a hard uh, coating outside and from inside they are quite soft. So they used to digest that uh, from in, uh, that soft uh, covering. The stomach then goes back into the body and the food is slowly digested. So that starfish leaves that hard coating outside and used to digest that small uh, soft part of the body of uh, aquatic animals. We take in uh, food through the mouth. This is digestion in humans. How we used to digest? Ham khana khate hain muse. Wo khana kahan jata hai? Let's see the whole process with this figure. So we used to take in food from here then that food goes into the buccal cavity then salivary uh, gland secretes some saliva saliva means in hindi we call it uh, two right that saliva helps in breaking down of uh, starch into simpler sugar and uh, then that food digested partially digested food goes into the small intestine that means i have used the word digestion so that means digestion starts from mouth only 
So that partially digested food goes into the uh, this food pipe called oesophagus, where the peristaltic movement takes place. After that, uh, peristaltic movements. Uh, why the, those movements are taking place in order to push the food downward, right? After uh, the food has reached over here in uh, stomach, then stomach uh, in stomach there are certain uh, enzymes and acid present. The acid name is uh, HCl. Uh, and that HCl acid, uh, it helps in uh, making the medium alkaline for the enzymes to act on that food. And the second thing that the HCl is do, it kills the harmful microorganisms present in the food. So when the acid has created that medium, alkaline medium, so that the enzymes can act over the food, that enzymes, basically what does they do? They break down that food into some simpler substances and that food then goes into the pen, uh, then goes into the small intestine before going to the small intestine there is the role of pancreas and gallbladder uh, what happens is liver secretes a bile juice that gets mixed with the uh, food that has been partially digested after the stomach and pancreas also secrete the secretion like pancreatic juices into that food. When the food reaches uh, small intestine, right? This is uh, quite uh, long. So this small intestine, uh, the food digestion uh, takes place. So all the remaining parts of that food, like carbohydrates into smaller globules, fat molecules, all those things have been break down into simpler components, and that simpler components uh, gets absorbed by the blood and that blood takes up that uh, nutrients to the various parts of the body basically what happens is in the small intestine there are numerous finger like projections that absorbs all the things and transfer it to the blood and the blood provides all those things to the necessary organs of the body and for their better functioning and uh, to fulfill the basic uh, body requirements so after uh, all this digestion process, the uh, finally food reaches to the large intestine. In large intestine, what happens is selective reabsorption. What do you mean by selective reabsorption is, जो खाना बच गया, मतलब उसमें अभी भी कुछ energy है, water है, nutrients है, salts है, वो जब large intestine में आता है, तो उसमें से दोबारा absorption होने लग जाती है, जो body में required होता है, और वो फिर blood stream में send कर दिया जाता है. After that, whatever the waste material is accumulated over uh, in large intestine, so it gets out through this passage of rectum and anus, right? So in this way, the digestive system of human beings works overall. The mouth and buccal cavity. Food is taken into the body through the mouth. The process of taking food into the body is called ingestion. जो हम process कर रहे हैं खाना अपने मुंह में अंदर डालने तक, ठीक है? मुंह के अंदर तक डाल डालना है खाना, उस process को हम कहते हैं ingestion. जब हम chew करते हैं, that food is broken down by the mechanical process of our teeth into smaller pieces, which helps in the easy uh, digestion of food, right? So that's why our teeth uh, used to bite the food and makes it into smaller pieces like grinding is there so uh, that smaller pieces uh, helps in easy digestion of that uh, particular food material by the action of enzymes so this is the activity uh, type of teeth number of teeth lower jaw upper jaw total so you have to observe your teeth or uh, you can observe of your brother sister or your parents also and kindly uh, Fill the table which is given over here. That's a very interesting activity. So don't uh, try to pull the teeth of your grandparents and all because they might be having uh, less teeth. So try to do it with a teenager or a, uh, your younger brother and sister. It will be quite interesting. So this is another activity that we will do in our next video so for understanding this activity you kindly subscribe the channel and get updated with the next video
stay safe stay at your home help your parents and family thank you and have a nice day get updated with your story